Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new makeup products. I have the new Rare Beauty launches as well as some things that I've purchased throughout the month. So before we get into all of the newness, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. Before I zoom you guys in, I feel like I can no longer gatekeep this shirt. I need to share it with you guys. I got it from a small Instagram store. First of all, I'll show off the shirt. It's a Pedro fan shirt and it says save a horse, ride a cowboy. It's so cute. And when I tell you I live in this shirt, I live in it all the time. I've washed it a million times and the print on here is still intact. It's flawless. It's so high quality. The shirt itself feels really, really nice. It's like on the thicker side, but it still lays on the body really nicely. Like it's still kind of soft. It's not so crispy as other shirts like this can be. The Instagram store is Creatures, but it's spelled K-R-E-E-T-U-R-E-Z. Amazing. I've purchased a few more things from her shop today, just in case, just in case if you guys go wild. <laughs> I, I felt like I had to get this off my chest. Actually, it never leaves my chest, but yeah, I, I could no longer gatekeep this t-shirt. <laughs> so let's zoom you guys in. I need to find my hair clips. Also, crazy, this is my last week being a redhead. I'm changing it up Friday. I'm just tired of the red. I feel like I need a break. It'll probably be back because I do love it so much, but I'm just tired of like my bed sheets, my towels, my everything tinting red. I just need a break. <laughs> So let's start off with this. I haven't heard anything about these, but this is the new Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. And maybe this will be the yummy skin product for me because I didn't love the Blurring Balm Powder, nor did I like this product. Well, I do retract that. I do like the looks of this on my skin. It just makes me break out. The next day after using this, I have little white pimples everywhere. So I just know I get a reaction from it. I don't know why I haven't decluttered it yet. I have an attachment to it for some reason and it lives on in my collection. So I'm going to figure out what color suits me best. I'll swatch them all against my skin. So that could be probably helpful. So this is shade three. Just do a little This is shade four. That one looks better. This one looks like it matches my neck, but it's still quite stark. This one blends into my skin a bit better. This is five, which seems a bit yellow. Yeah, so far four looks the best to me. And the last one I have here is six. I think I might go in with Four. I feel like that's the one that blends in the most seamlessly. Like it's like barely there. I'm gonna go with four. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the palm of my hand. I don't know where my little palette is. We have a visitor. The kitty broke in. <laughs> and I'm going to blend it out with this NARS brush. Oh yeah, that's like a really good match. And I'm just using this over top of my skin, uh, skin tint, skin care. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was crazy. Am I okay? Just to see its actual texture. Okay, kitty, you can't, you can't be here. I love you so much. Baby, I don't think this is gonna work. Do you wanna sit on my lap? Sit here, sit down. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, sit down, get cozy. I'm using this over my skincare just to see its actual texture without altering it at all. I'm gonna have to kick him out and that's gonna make me sad. <laughs> this looks really, really nice on my skin. It has a good amount of coverage for a skin tint. Like it's still light coverage of course, but it overall corrected my skin so well and I feel like it's adding a really nice finish. But I love how see-through it is, but it's very correcting at the same time. See what I mean? Like I feel like that looks really, really nice. Okay, promising. Now I'm going to use one of these Huda Beauty faux filter correctors. I've used one of the shades a few times. I'm in the shade Pink Pamela, which is the lightest color. I think they came out with five in total and I was Thinking that these two darker shades would be amazing as blushes, because look how pretty they are. They're like really nice oranges. <laughs> Very pretty. Like, look at that. I think they're too pigmented to go for blushes for me, but on deeper skin tones, that'd be amazing as blush. Like medium, medium skin tones, I guess. 
they're super pigmented. But as color correctors go, I don't love when they're super pigmented because then I feel like I have to go in with more concealer to really cover the corrector, you know, and I feel like it just is more unnecessary steps. But here's Pink Pomelo, and this is a nice shade because I do have some blue tones in my under eyes here, so it just really counteracts that color and cancels it out. And the formula is really nice and thin, and you only need the slightest, slightest amount for it to go a long way. Like, see how well that did? It's very powerful, and I like its thin consistency. It's nice. It's thinner than the Faux Filter Concealer. I've tried this out, I think, three or four times, and it's very promising. I like that one so far. Now I have a new concealer from Makeup Forever. It's their HD Skin Smooth and Blur Undetectable Concealer. They sent two shades to me. I have 1.3N and 1.4Y. Oh, it looks quite like a medium coverage concealer just by the looks of it on the back of my hand. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is 1.4Y and this is 1.3N. <laughs> this one looked better to me. Put a little touch. I love the foundation version of this, so I have high hopes for this concealer. I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't really see any of the smoothing or blurring qualities. It's kind of like a glowier texture, it seems like. Let me see, I don't wanna to speak too soon. Like it feels quite serum-y and there's a bit of glow. I don't see any blurring qualities, I don't know. Definitely has a medium coverage. It's not the fullest coverage, which I think this would look really nice paired with this skin tint. So I think it's going to work out for today, but it feels like it has a lot of glow in comparison to the foundation version, like the HD skin foundation. I don't know if I'm into that. Let me give it a second to like sit and set. Maybe that's where the smoothing and blurring will kick in. I forget I have this. It's not good for my contacts. Owie. Yeah, and it's pretty creasy immediately. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it has any self-setting qualities at all. I'm going to whip up my powder right now. I'm using Cupcake from Huda Beauty. I'll see how it acts locked in now because I always do add powder on top of my, my concealer. So I'll see how it acts and I'm very familiar with this powder. We'll see. Right now, don't have the highest hopes. I've been putting off trying this bronzer. I tried out the liquid highlighter of this line and I hated it. <laughs> so I'm scared that I'm going to hate this too. But this is the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. And I have the shade Bronze. So we'll see. It has that smell that everyone likes. I don't know if I like it personally. It smells too much of coconut sunscreen or something. It's not my favorite, but this is the color. <laughs> and I'm going to apply it with my favorite brush right now, the MAC 143S. Just working that product into my brush just so that the bristles are coated. And I'm just gonna tap off the excess here. And here we go. Okay, okay. That's nice, it doesn't have any pearls in it, it's just a flat liquid color. I like that, but I don't know if I love the actual color of the product, but it's nice because it's quite translucent. So it looks really, really good with this type of skin finish. I like that. I'm trying to see if there is like a very minimal pearl in here. If there is, it's very, very, oh yeah, there totally is, but it's so slight. It kind of gives me vibes of like a liquefied glowish bronzer from Huda Beauty, you know? But I don't know if I love the tone. It's giving like a latte makeup tone, like caramel. Gotta be careful with my palm up on my head. I thought I was going to smush that into my hairline. That would not be fun. You know what? This is quite beautiful. 
actually now that I'm seeing it all over my face. It's mimicking my natural tan color. I thought it was going to be too caramel, but I feel like it's actually sinking in quite beautifully. What do you guys think? I feel like it actually looks like a, a natural tan and I really like how it looks with a skin tint. Okay. I feel the complete opposite about this product compared to the highlighter, which is great news. <laughs> great news immediately just by looks wise, but we'll have to see how it wears of course damn I really hope that this Danessa Myrick's yummy skin serum doesn't break me up because this is looking so pretty It's very summery skin. I love it We're just going to amp up the glow even more because I have these super goop highlighters, which is really cool I think these have been out for a while. I've just never tried them. So they're new to me So it's kind of cool. It's a highlighter, but it also has SPF 30 <laughs> So I'm going to use this shade right here. This is the lighter one. I don't know. I don't see a name. Ooh, wow. Okay, so that's that shade there and there's another one here. Oh, this one says daydream this one Oh, it's it's covered by the expiry date first light. This is daydream Which has more of like a pinky hue daydream and first light. I think first light it is it has like a really fun texture like I enjoy tapping my finger in there. I'll show you why. See, look at that texture. You can see those peaks. It's kind of moussey. See that? Wow. Fun to touch. Okay, that looks gray. <laughs> that looks bad. Oh, oh no. Maybe too much? Okay, deceiving texture because I thought that this was going to just like melt in and glide. It's doing the complete opposite of what I wanted. It's like sticking into my makeup I had on and removing it actually. So that's really rude of that. So I'm just going to panic blend that out with my sponge here. And we're going to move on because that was bad. I'm going to attempt on my nose. Maybe a little bit of a different technique. No, it's doing the same thing. And it looks gray. Okay, <laughs> gray green. No thanks. Don't do that. Then you wanna know something on top of that? It's glittery. So now I'm in a bad mood, but let's move on to blush because that always cures a bad mood. <laughs> and I have these ones. I purchased these two. These are the Givenchy Loose Powder Blushes. I purchased two shades. I got the shade five, which is like a nice warm pink and the shade one, which is a nice cool pink. I've tried these once. I did like a little TikTok trying both of them. I did one cheek with this one and the other with this one. They're fun, but I have a few feelings, a few feelings. Let's get into those feels. So first of all, I've used them once and look at the little powder puff. This was my concern purchasing these, okay? Um, I feel like I am going to waste a lot of this product just by it kind of fluttering about in the poof and I'm like, it's just money in the air, for real. So that's my one concern. Uh, there's a few things that I wish this product had. So I wish there was a better cover. I wish there was like a little lip or something or like a, some kind of situation where I could open one quadrant and use that specific shade. You know, I th feel like there's a lot of missed potential with this. I'm gonna use this shade. I'm going to go in with shade five. So you're meant to tap a little bit into the cap. Here we are, cute. And then I'm going to grab my brush and work into the cap and see like there's quite a bit of it like fluffing up into the air, which I'm like, my money. <laughs> and because this isn't like a powder shade, the pigment kind of goes everywhere. So make sure you're not wearing your outfit that you're wearing out. And, you know, make sure you have a towel down or something because the cleanup can be a little bit messy. That's my only like concerns there. Otherwise, this is a really nice blush color. <laughs> it's really, really cute. And it goes on really beautifully, just like a translucent scent powder wood and it's blurring but it also has a little bit of a pearl in there so it just adds a really nice layer of radiance too while kind of setting the area and blurring it out it's cool the two colors that i got though remind me heavily of my house labs blushes i have in the shades hibiscus haze and dragon fruit days this one reminds me a lot of hibiscus haze they're quite pigmented and they just go on really well they do come with the powder puff but I tried it with the powder puff and it does apply it splotchily. <laughs> splotchily? Word? No? I don't know. So I wish there was just a little bit more thought put into these or like maybe a little bit more of a different mechanism. Like it'd be so cool to have like a, a nice stopper that would allow you to like pick one of the colors or mix them all together. It would also be really cool to see that kind of blush, like a complete different one with different tones completely, not just like all cool pinks or warm pinks or whatnot. Brands better not steal my idea. But if you do, let's clap. <laughs> I got some good ideas for blush. 
and I shouldn't just be mentioning them out loud, you know? So my consensus is that these are really fun, really cool experience. I've never tried a loose powder blush. I feel like there's lots of potential there, but once the product is actually on my cheeks, it's not much different than any other powder blush I have. It has minor uniqueness, I guess. Like it does blur, it does have a nice pearlescence, but it's not super wowing me, I guess. But I'm going to keep them, so that says a lot too. <laughs> but all in all, I feel still really excited about these and I want to keep them. Like I don't have any feelings that I wanna like return them, like they're pretty good. I wanna set the center of my face and I'm just going to use that same Huda Beauty powder in the shade Cupcake. Now let's do brows. I'm going to use these new Rare Beauty products. I've actually been using these all week and they're quite fantastic. Way opposite of their original brow pencil. This one's actually really, really nice. So the shape of it is kind of unique. It is like a elongated triangle. I mean, diamond, <laughs> sorry. We're used to seeing the triangles, but this is a little diamond. That's what I meant to say. I said it kind of backwards. And this pencil is interesting. It has quite a bit of weight to it, which is nice in the hand. I feel like I get more control than say like something a lot more lightweight. And the texture is quite nice. It's a little bit on the sheer side. I would say medium coverage side actually for a brow pencil. So it adds a good amount of pigmentation, but it's not like so much. So your brows are overfilled. It just fills them in really nicely. The product has a nice matte finish. It's not glowy and it sticks really well to the skin underneath of my brow hairs, is, which is what you want. I tend to get a lot of fading right here where I have kind of sparser areas, but this one sticks. And this brow gel here is quite phenomenal. I don't know what it's called. I think my little sticker fell off, but it's the new brow gel and it's just clear, but it has such a strong hold. It's pretty much like the e.l.f. brow lift, but just in an actual little tube, which is quite handy. So it has a little bit of a, a tower at the top of product and I kind of smoosh that through my brow near the tail because this is where I want the most lift and hold, just like so. And then I take the rest through the front of my brow. And then once that's just in my brows, I take my brow pencil with the cap on and I just smoosh it down. See, so you can get that laminated effect, but I like to just go back in with my spoolie and kind of carve my shape. And I like to have my brow hairs on the ends kind of stick straight out. And I like these ones to lay down a little bit more skinny like but I like the lift it adds on the tails. And then I usually like play with them for a while <laughs> to get them right. And I might have to go in with my brow pencil again, just in case if there's fading here. Really good brow products. I'm just going to quickly prime my lids, so please enjoy the intermission. Now let's start an eye look. I kind of want to do a look inspired by Selena's promo photo for this whole new launch, but I don't think I want to use the black, nor do I want to use the kind of red color because I didn't really love when I used this. I found that the shade Compassion in the eyeliners was a bit difficult to work with. It looks fine on the back of my hand, but actually working with it on my eye was difficult. I found that the product would dry too quickly and it would kind of remove the product as I would add more, like more layers to make it look opaque. It was a bit sheer on the eye, but I wanna see if it's like a shade issue or like a product issue. This shade does have a little bit of a sheen in it, so I feel like that could be the reason it went wrong, but I'm going to try the brown one which seems to be a lot more creamy. Let's try that. And then I would like to layer a few of the 
all of the above weightless eyeshadow sticks on top. I'm gonna base my look off this, but change it up. Here we go. I'm using the Perfect Strokes Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade True Brown. It's quite a thick wing, so I'm going to angle it from here. Yeah, like this doesn't feel creamy on my eye either. Like I feel like it's kind of skipping. I don't usually like to tug on my eye, but because this is a little bit tuggy. Yeah, it's the same. I think it's a eyeliner formula issue for me or just in my taste. Like I don't like how fast it sets down. Like I'm not able to work at it. Like it's not very creamy, so I can't blend them out very well. Let me see, I just added that layer. And I just feel like the brush acts like a magnet and just removes it and makes it look patchy. Like there's no creaminess whatsoever once it's actually on your eye. Maybe it would be a good waterline pencil in that case. Let's see. It's so drying. It's tugging on my little lashes. It just looks crispy. I'm not impressed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull off doing that whole thing up here since they're so unblendable. Hmm. What to do? What to do? You know what? I'm going to try it. And if I can't get it to work, I'll just wipe it off and do something else. Beauty of makeup, okay. Yeah, like there's no budging it. I don't like these liners at all. I feel like I might have to get some shadows involved here or other eyeliners just to fix this. But yeah, I don't, I don't like these liners, you guys. Sad story. I feel like I just drew on eyebrows, not on my eyebrows. <laughs> I do not feel slay right now. <laughs> I feel the opposite of slay. And I also made a major boo-boo and I put the cap on the end and I didn't know that there's a sharpener. So now the sharpener is so shoved back there. I can't put the cap on. I've been trying to get my tweezers in there and I'm just breaking it. I <laughs> just, me and these eyeliners are not friends. We are enemies. Yep. I do not feel bonita. I feel crapita. Um, <laughs> let's fix this. I'm going to add one of the stick eyeshadows. I really like the lighter shades in Well Being and Integrity. On the lid, they look kind of glossy, really, really pretty. I did a whole swatching reels short TikTok, <laughs> swatching every shade on my eye so you can see what they look like. But I'm going to, I think I'm going. Mm, what shade matches the vibe today? I think the more champagne shade in the shade Integrity. So I'm going to rub this on my eye. Then I'm going to fix the disaster. I'm just going to put this all over my eye. I don't care if it gets on top of my liner. And these do have a setting quality, so I'm going to blend one eye out at a time. Okay, see, that made it look a little bit better in my opinion. <laughs> so now let's uh, get to repairing this situation. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out in my head how I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Oh my God, I look absolutely insane. I forgot to do this waterline. I was like, why do I look so lopsided? Oh my God, help. So much better. I'm going to be using my Melt Cosmetics Spliff Ultra Matte Gel Liner. This is my tried and true. I can always rely on the Ultra Matte Gel Liners. And this one's a newer color to me. I purchased this a few months ago. Thank you. 
I just see two little turds. So here was my attempt and I don't like it. So I'm just going to remove this part if it will allow me to. And never happened. And I'm just gonna put more of this. And I'm going to be happy with that. I don't, that was, that was an adventure, but it's okay. I feel like this eyeliner shape is making me look a little cross-eyed or something. Interesting, makeup is so interesting. I'm so tempted to like wipe off the entire eye, but that would mean that I would have to like restart my face. I don't know. Everybody's so creative. Okay, now I'm going to move on to mascara. I'm just going to commit to the look. I'm going to pretend it, it just super slays, okay? And this is the new Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. This is what the brush looks like. So it can look like this. And then if you flip it, it has a curve to it. Chunky to curvy. Okay, so let's see how that goes. I'm assuming they want you to be like, kind of like a paddle. I'm assuming this is, this side is meant to, well, I'm assuming like the flat side is meant to be like a paddle brush. So you're like load. So you are meant to load the mascara on and then kind of comb it out with the curvy side. Oh, okay, that was pretty quick. It's giving me vibes of the Mac Stack mascara just on how quick building it is and how voluminous it is immediately. I feel like it's getting a little chunky though. I'm bringing out my velour needle comb just to kind of comb through some of those clumps I've got going on. I mean, it did what it says to do. It's like one coat and it is pretty wow, but it did remove all of the curl I added to my lashes. It feels a little bit heavy and I don't like it as much as like my Clio Kill Lash Mascara. That's been my favorite at the moment. I feel like this just makes them look a little bit stubby. I know it's kind of difficult to see my lashes with my thick eyeliner on, but I don't know. Let me look up <laughs> and to the side. Can you see like it feels too heavy or something, but I appreciated how quick it was to apply. I love that when it comes to mascaras. And here are my eyes all done. It was a journey. It was a journey. Uh, but moving on to lips, I wanted to show you guys one of these. This is the Florisys Dew and Jade Like Glowing Lip Gloss, and it also stains. It's a really, really lovely product. I've been wearing it constantly. It's stunning. So I'm just going to line my lips with the Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut Lip Liner. And this is in the shade G401. Such a cute lip combo, but I feel like here, let me just. <laughs> then it's nice. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit sad. I feel like it started off so strong today and then it just started plummeting once I put on the highlighter. <laughs> uh, let's go through the products. Right now, whenever I look at my face, I feel like I don't look like a makeup artist. I feel like it's the first day I've ever used makeup, but it's okay. It'd be like that sometimes. Days go like that. Okay, let's, I'm just gonna organize myself and I'll tell you my first impression thoughts on the newer things I tried today. 
I separated the products into three categories. So let's start off with my favorites of the day. I think the blush was a high point of today. I really, really like these. Although I do have a few hesitations about them, I think the outcome of them are really, really fun and stunning and they look really nice on the cheek. I like how blurring they are, but they still add a little bit of radiance and there's a little bit of a unique aspect to it. I do really like them. Moving on to the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Bronzer. I actually really like this. I feel like my skin looks naturally bronzed. I think this looks like a nice healthy glow. It's not too full coverage. It has like a nice sheerness to it, a translucency that I really admire. And I think the subtle glow in it is really, really pretty. So this is something I really like coming out of today's video. The brow products are amazing from Rare Beauty. I have been using these nonstop and I don't think that's going to stop either. The pencil is just nice. It does perform like a lot of pencils out there, but I do like its diamond shape and the brow gel feels especially really nice. I've tried so many of these laminating brow products like the Refi one and the, I don't know, there's a ton of them on the market now, but this one truly keeps the brows up all day. I really love this lipstick from Florisys. It's such a stunning formula. It feels really, really lightweight and it has a nice subtle glow and it stains your lips so it lasts a long time and it's a very consistent stain. It's not a patchy stainer. I've been using these so much. So good. I really like the color corrector from Huda Beauty. You only need the slightest amount and it's very powerful and it lays really well under most concealers I've found, especially the ones that I go in with. It does its job and it does it flawlessly. And I also I also really like the Rare Beauty Weightless Eyeshadow Sticks, specifically the lighter shades. I like how glossy they are. They're really easy to use and they're super quick. And I just like that subtle kind of glossy sheen it adds to the lids. Really nice. I'm gonna have to do a few more looks using like the darker shades. But yeah, so far those have been good. They're not like a favorite of mine, but they're pretty good. Moving on to the products I'm kind of feeling meh or unsure about. First being the Danessa Myers Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. As this video has gone on, I, I don't know if I love my skin. I feel like it looks a little bit grainy, like it's separating quite a bit. I don't know if that's like due to my skincare or the other products I went in with today, but I feel like it's not looking the most smooth or consistent. Like it's not like my other favorite skin tints, like the MAC Face and Body or the Iconic Linden Super Smoother. Is that what it's called? Blurring skin tint, sorry. Nothing like my other favorites, but we'll see. It could be due to other products I went in with. I'm gonna have to use it a few more times, see how it goes with like my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm going to have to conduct a few more tests, but right now I don't have that same initial excitement as when I had this freshly applied. For the Makeup Forever HD Skin, concealer. I'm feeling a little unsure about it. I want to see what it looks like on its own without the Huda Beauty corrector underneath and I want to see what it looks like on top of a foundation I know really well. It hasn't budged or moved with the powder but that's because the powder is an, an amazing powder. It doesn't steer me wrong ever but I'm not sure. I'm not fully convinced about this. Like it's nothing like my Lancome all over concealer or my other ones I go in with often. And moving on to the products I would say Dear Clear Of, that would be the Huda Beauty Mascara. There's so many better ones out there. So many better. Moving on to the Rare Beauty Eyeliner. Shocker, I think this is maybe the worst product I tried out this year. I'm so disappointed in them. You guys know how much I love my pencil liners. Like I can't go without five of them. <laughs> I travel with like six or seven all the time. And this one was just so disappointing. It's so hard to work with. It dries on the skin immediately and the pencil itself dries immediately when you're working with it. It's just nearly impossible to get a good look using them. I've used them three times now and it's been the same situation every time. And it's not just the shades, it's the actual product, unfortunately. And the last one I would steer clear of is the Super Goop highlighters. Sadly, they're very gray and they're just lackluster, they're glittery, they're just everything I don't want. I had hope for these because it's kind of interesting, like a sunscreen company coming out with makeup products. Cool, but missed the mark for me. And there we have it. Those are my thoughts on all of the new products I tried out today. Keep tuned for this month's roundup for like my final thoughts on all of these after I'm able to try them out for a longer period of time. But that's going to be all from me. I really hope you enjoyed today's disaster of a video, kind of. Hopefully it was entertaining. If it was, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I'll have everything linked in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.